All right, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, call Lame La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Though my honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach you well. And of course, Shalom to Yankim out there that's pushing this truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Okay, so this lesson is going to be titled Rest in the Middle. Excuse me, rest in the end and not in the middle. Okay. And and that was a quote that was uh said by you know Kobe Bryant. Okay. And uh if you type it in on Google, you know, and scroll it down a little bit, it gives you the meaning actually. <clears throat> and it says resting at the end, not in the middle, is an inspiring quote from the late Kobe Bryant. It tells us to work hard, not just when we want to, but all the time. All right. And, you know, it's, and it's more, but I'm going to just break this part down real quick, you know. And, and, when, and when I read that, you know, it goes in about, you know, how, you know, the flesh, you know, can, can hold you back at times. You know what I mean? But, be, you know, because the flesh is, 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 is you know, is, uh, is uh, an uh, enemy against us. You know, of course, you know, uh, if you let it. All right. And the flesh wars against the spirit. Okay, and the spirit and the flesh is, is contrary to you know it's contrary to one another. Okay, you know the flesh may want to you know indulge in this, but deep down inside your spirit, it, it, it you know it, your uh, your spirit knows that it's not expedient at that particular moment. All right, so it says it tells us to work hard, not just when we want to. All right, but all the time. Why? Because this you know this thing of ours being this truth. All right. You know, it is, uh, you know, it, it is very, you know, uh, detrimental for us to, you know, uh, go hard and put our best foot forward, you know, according to a, according to the best of our abilities. All right. So it says it tells us to work hard, not just not just not just w when we want to, but all the time. OK. Right. Because, you know, the truth is, you know, is we are a living sacrifice, you know, and we have to. You know, put the Lord Yahweh Bashman Shai first in all of our doings, you know, and put ourselves in the back burner. All right. And it says it's about setting high standards and then working to both achieve and maintain them. We it says we need to be consistent every day, show up and put the work in. Okay. It says show up, be consistent, and put the work in. All right. Now, you know, this quote, you know, uh can be used in a lot of aspects, okay? You know, now, of course, you know, being that Kobe Bryant was a, a basketball player, you know, th this can obviously be used in basketball or in other general, you know, uh, work work area, if you will. But, you know, you know, this quote stood out to me the most because of, uh, of you know, uh, this truth, okay? Because this truth is far more greater than being a basketball player. It's far more greater than, you know, any other career, you know, uh, 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 in this society, you know, being, being, being in this truth and serving you how about Shemar and Shai conquers all, you know, uh, uh, jobs, careers, you know, and so on and so forth. Okay. So it says, it says, um, we need to be consistent every day, show up and put the work in. Okay. And then that's true because, you know, in this thing of ours, the truth, you know, the work that we do, they're going to follow us. OK, because the works that we do are not in vain. Anyhow, shy. All right. And I always get this this quick precept. Actually, let me get this real quick. This is the book of. First Corinthians 15 and verse 58. And it says, therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. You have a shy. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, right, man? So if we are consistent in his work, you know, and constantly put the work in, you know, then we will be rewarded for the work that we do. Okay. And what's that? That's called the fruits of our labor. All right. You know, you know, uh, being patient and waiting on Yahweh Bashma Shai, you know, waiting on prophecy to unravel, to manifest itself. Okay. Those are the things that we are waiting on. OK, and, and ultimately to be delivered. OK, and, and you know, uh, and to, uh, you know, gain that power back from Yahweh Shai, 
you know? So that way we can roll for all eternity with Yahweh Shai, man. All right? But right now we have to stay on point. We got to keep pushing, keep enduring, you know, and keep and keep being consistent with all faith and sincerity. Okay, because why? Because just like it said in 1 Corinthians 15, 58, it says that our labor is not in vain. Okay, and also too, hey man, if you don't work, you don't eat. All right, let's get that real quick. All right, this is the book of 2 Thessalonians um, 3 and verse 2, and it says, it says, for even when we were with, says, excuse me, says, for even when we were with you, this we commanded you that if any would not work, neither should he eat. OK, and that's spiritual and physically, you know, just like if you on a job, you know, and you don't clock in and put the work in, put the man hours in, then you're not going to get a paycheck. You're not going to eat. OK, same thing going to the truth. All right. If, you, if you're not doing your lessons, if you're not being brotherly, you know, if you're not putting the work in. You know, to, you know, show your diligence to have to have your election, you know, be sure then you're not going to eat. It's that is simple. All right. If you're not putting work in now, then how do you, uh, you know, uh, uh, expect to be, you know, uh, delivered? OK, now, of course, you know, all Israel is going to be in the kingdom, but it, but but it's about but it's about how you get to the kingdom. Are you going to be delivered? All right. Or are you going to be, you know, judged? OK. And speaking for myself, you know, for, you know, excuse me, I'm going to say this and speaking first and foremost as a servant of the Lord, you know, and as, you know, a man, you know, that wants to be delivered. I'm going to say this first and foremost. I want to be delivered. You know, I want to be delivered. And that's why, you know, you know, I, I, I you know, I do this. That's why, you know, I, I'm doing this, this work to show my faith to be delivered. You know, what do we say? The book of James it says. A faith without works is dead. Okay? Faith without works is dead. This, you know, and, and us putting work in is us showing our faith. Okay? And going back again to the, the, the Kobe Bryant quote, okay, if Kobe Bryant didn't put the work in and the, and the hours in to be, you know, a, 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 good, a, a great basketball player, okay, then, 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 uh, then uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be no point to be in the, uh, the NBA. All right? If Kobe, if Kobe didn't put, you know, all those hours in, then he, then he wouldn't have got, uh, gotten, you know, five championships. Okay. So we got to have that mindset and the truth spiritually, you know, and just having that mindset of, of, you know, being steadfast, you know, and, you know, and, you know, and just being, being watertight and having the spirit of perseverance. Okay. Because no matter how hard, you know, uh, you know, the uh, the journey may get, you still got to keep pushing, still got to keep enduring, okay? So this is the book of, um, let me see, uh, second, I think it's first Peter, actually. Okay, second Peter. Second Peter one and verse 10. And it says, wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you for, for if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. OK, so we continue to, you know, be consistent, you know, and, and you know, and put the work in, you know, every day, you know. And, you know, and, and of course, you know, with all faith and sincerity, then guess what, man? The Lord is going to the Lord. The Lord got us. All right. And we continue to put the work in spiritually and do these things that, that is required of us in his truth. All right. Then we will be rewarded. All right. And that's why you don't want to rest right now. All right. You know, but you want to rest, you know, uh, when we get that, you know, that, you know, that, that, that victory. Okay. Because right now is no time to rest. All right. The, the scriptures say, it says that this is not our rest because why? Because we're in captivity. Okay. We are, we are PO, we are POWs, prisons of war. All right. There's no time to rest right now. All right. And when I mean that now, of course, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not saying you can't, 
you can't sleep, okay, because you know because our bodies need sleep. What I'm saying is, it's no time to, you know, uh, uh, be set in your leaves and be content and be comfortable. All right, you know, what you know, with with just, you know, uh, um, coasting, you know, and, and and getting too comfortable. All right, because we are living the last days of the last days, and Esau is not playing. Okay, so okay, so, okay, okay. So now is the time to, you know, strap in and, and just buckle up because the road is about to get rougher. All right. And now is the time to just, you know, stay locked in and remain locked in. All right. Because we're living the last days of the last days, man. OK. Things are things are, uh, uh, you know, um, speeding up. All right. It's about between 23 in a few days, man. All right. And every day down in every day down is a day towards the kingdom. All right, and, and and also too, and also too, it's a day, you know, towards privacy being manifest. Okay, so let's head to this real quick. This is the book of uh, Roman Romans twelve and verse one, and it says, "I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service." Okay, and this work that we do. You know, this is our reasonable service. All right. This is, you know, far more greater than, you know, you know, being a basketball player. This is far, far this is a far more greater than being, you know, a, a damn celebrity. All right. Any uh, anything you name, you know, you know, uh, any career you name, any, you know, any profession or job that you name, it cannot hold a candle to this truth, you know, and being this truth because we are. Serving, you know, the, the, the true power you have by Shmuel Shai, and we are, you know, getting a chance at deliverance, you know, getting a chance at, you know, uh, ultimate power, you know, ultimate rulership, okay? I, you know, and that's one thing, too, you know, I, I, I'd rather have a chance at that, at deliverance, th than, a, than a chance at, you know, being the, the next ball player or, 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 or damn rapper, Okay, that shit is through, man. That shit is out the window. Okay. And and being in the truth right now in these last days, that's mercy from you. How about Shmuel Shai? Okay, that is mercy from the Most High. Okay. So so what if you gotta serve the Lord, you know, and you know, and and, and, and you know, and uh, put yourself on the back burner? So what? Okay, it's a light thing to do that, man. Okay. There's, hey, listen, man, if you telling me you can't do a quick 10 minute video for you, how about Shmuel Shai and put yourself last? Hey, man, then what are you doing there? OK. Ain't nothing wrong with, with, with you know, with uh, reading a chapter a day, you know, out your day. That right there is putting the Lord first, you know, and then you can do things that you want to. All right. Just 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 put the Lord Yahweh Bashem Shai first because what the Yahweh Shai say? He said, I'm about my father's business. Okay, and that's the mindset that we have to be, you know, in. We gotta be about the most high's business. Okay. We gotta we gotta we gotta do this, man. All right. It's like you, you know, if uh I'm ranting a little bit, you know, I just hope that this lesson is edifying, okay. Now, actually, I think you know that was it. Really, you know that was uh really what I what I wanted to get across. Let me see if I had any other, any other scriptures. All right, yeah, that was it. You know, so Lord as well. You know, this, this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of by Shemal Shai. And, you know, and Lord as well, I touched on all the points that you know I um yeah now I wanted to touch on. You know. So, hey, in the Lord's word, this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. And I just want to say, call Lam La, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakwadash. Double honor be unto the elder apostles of Red Millstone that do rule and teach well. And, hey, man, keep pushing, keep enduring, you know, and don't rest right now because, because now isn't the time to rest. All right, but, but rather, you know, resting at the end. 
when we get that that victory, you know, that that uh that that power. And actually, let me end it off right here. All right. This is the book of Revelation 2 and verse 26, and it says, Well, I'll start 25. It says, But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. And he that and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Okay, so amen. If we continue to work, continue to, you know, have faith into the end and, and, and endure to the end, amen. The most high is gonna give us what we you know what we deserve. Okay. The most high the most high is the most high Yahweh Shmao Shai is going to, you know, uh give us what he said you know that he promised us. Okay? Power, rulership, power over power over the nations. Okay. And and how do we do that? By putting the work in now. Okay, but by not resting in the middle, because ultimately rest is going to come in the kingdom. All right. So why rest now when we can, you know, put the work in now and then rest in the end? OK, so don't rest in the middle, but rather work in the middle. So that way you can rest at the end. OK, so that being said, I just want to say call Lang La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles of great millstone that do rule and teach well. And like I said earlier, I'm going to say this again. <laughs> Lord's will, this lesson was edifying to you, Ankim out there. All right. You know, and of course, you are uh, you, you, uh, a few sense of sisters that may be tuning in and listening. All right. And uh, hey, with that being said, shall I want.